here it is. So for two days, it's been like just, I'm so overwhelmed. And today, like I just, this is usually what I'm so good at is like getting myself out of this. One of those days where I just was like totally overwhelmed with so many things and I was like you know what it's gonna get better and then he didn't sleep the entire night <laughs> so today I decided because this is one of the things that I feel like I pride myself on that is my strength I can get myself out of a struggle or a funk or a you know whatever it is that you might call this with some different um, tips and tricks and techniques y'all are always asking me about those types of things because I tell you what I think those real life things are probably more valuable than a shirt that went on sale <laughs> you know what I always say it's the darkest before the light dawn Oh no, we've had a blowout. What are you eating your knuckles for? Y'all watch, Ford's got a new trick. He can fit his whole fist in his mouth. He can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> itsy bitsy spider without the water spout. <gasps> Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and Try to fall around and the itsy bitsy spider we know to spout again. Yeah! But do you love me? Yeah! I know the song. Oh, you got your ear to the streets. <laughs> anyway, before the In My Feelings Challenge, back in my day, we used to ghost ride the whip. If you don't know, you know what ghost riding the whip is? No. Like whip and nay nay? No. Show me. Is it a dance? Kids, Please, God. I got to show you. I, 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 but look, I've got to get in my truck to go throughout the wheel. Oh, what? Yeah. If you don't know what ghost riding the whip is, tell them. YouTube it forward. There are a lot of different things that I do when I feel like so many tasks and so many things and so many like, oh my gosh, how am I going to get this all done are like weighing down on me. The first thing that I always try to do is... I try and listen to a podcast, a motivational something. Uh, if you're a reader, you can read a book. And sometimes that will like, I'll read one line in that book and I swear it will jolt me out of it. Then I start making a gratitude list in my head. I don't usually like write it down. I say, I'm grateful for, you know, my child. I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful. And that pulls me out of it a little bit too. Sometimes that jolts me out. But I also think that at different times, different things work for me. When all else fails, I mean everything. Like when you exercise and when your husband's helped you and you take the nap. And when, oh, hang on. Something just happened with my son's outfit that I have to show you. <laughs> I've got the matching shirt too, it's dirty though. <laughs> Anyways, when all else fails, I believe that there's something like deeper that I have to learn or, or notice or pay attention to um, that like that struggle is kind of leading me to. So whether that is to slow down or change direction with something or um, there can be a million different things, but that is typically what I feel like whenever um, I like can't get out of it. No matter what that struggle is or that hardship is, um, you know, so many people deal with a lot of deeper things. I used to deal with a lot of deeper things. Um, and, uh, you know, today for me and yesterday, it's just I've got a lot of tasks and too much on my plate and I have no sleep. But, you know, even if it's a really big thing, I truly believe that the biggest struggles in your life and those hardships, they can lead you to so much growth. And I do know this, 
everything will be okay, probably, because I have a great husband and a sweet baby. Huh? And dog. Oh, kisses in the mouth. Good boy, dog. Oh, that is really cute. Kyle's very obsessed with Sasquatch, so this is exciting. They are out there. Oh, you think? They eat apples. <laughs> they do. Oh, Dad, you did not taste very good on the arm. <laughs> Kind of salty. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually pretty sweet today. Hey, Ford. What are you doing, itty bitty spider? Oh, uh, yeah. I um, start to think of and list the things that I'm grateful for, um, which is like a practice that I feel like every single um, speaker or self-help person says, but there is something so true about that, that it can bring you out of a funk just like that. I feel like now, whether or not it, you stay out of the funk, that's dependent on how deep the funk is, <laughs> but I feel like temporarily it lifts me out of that fog of all the things in front of me and it just takes me to another place. So that's what I do while I was in the shower. I would love to just go back to sleep, but sometimes we just don't have that luxury, do we? We have a lunch that's been planned for a while and I'm not gonna let anybody down. So we are gonna go to it and then we're gonna come back and get to work. And I'm gonna take things one thing at a time. Honestly, um, I am thankful sometimes whenever I go through these things because something good always comes from them. And it took me a long time to kind of realize that or like come to that mindset with it but it literally changes my life like you know how you hear things all the time you hear like it's darkest before the dawn or you hear um you know fire tests you or you hear like you know all those little sayings but it's so true like sometimes it takes you going through it yourself to really take it to heart and i'm a firm believer i mean something really really hard it has transformed my life completely in the past and um, you know nowadays I just feel like whether it's something really small or whether it's something huge like such great things can come of it oh by the way you can come in here sometimes whenever I feel like this I just want to cancel everything and like sometimes I do but sometimes I feel like it's important even when it's hard to keep like a lunch or an appointment or a phone call um, I feel like sometimes that can kind of take you out of the space of oh my gosh, I have so much to do I've always heard and this is true which which is why I practice this look at my messy house but whatever this is a real vlog they're all real vlogs but this is an extra real vlog so they say you're 45% more likely to do something if you write it down I carry this notebook around like a security blanket and I write down everything so if I'm like I'm overwhelmed with tasks and I keep them up in my head it literally paralyzes me so I have to get them down on paper and actually look at them and assess okay like here's the one I'm gonna do here here's the one I'm gonna do here so I carry this around with me religiously <laughs> Any kind of small notebook I feel like that you can fit anywhere like I fit them in my clutch or I fit them in my You know larger bags, and I just think that that's super helpful um, To write everything down Because then you can get your mind wrapped around it, and I got somebody waking up in the background So another day another restoration lunch What are you gonna do while I'm here for an hour? I'm gonna walk around the mall Let me go to Cheesecake Factory okay. Maybe. Maybe pick up some girls. Okay. <laughs> Let me get that. Ones that are a little bit less stressed, they have less responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, mom. Have fun. Bye. I love you. So I am back from the um, restoration lunch, and it's been about four hours. The lunch was great, and it's great to like connect and see other moms. And I just decided to be very like real and present on this vlog because that is I know like where my strength lies in my content and that's um what makes like vlogs and YouTube videos valuable to other people and other mothers and here
here it is so for two days it's been like just i'm so overwhelmed and today like i just this is usually what i'm so good at is like getting myself out of this like i'm such a i am such a i, I mean that's my my bounce back rate is fast but I didn't sleep all night last night. Ford had a terrible night, like was up four times. I feel like I literally sometimes have like no help or no like long-term plan or no, I, I don't know. Like I feel like everything is just crumbling before my eyes, like in my life right now. And I, I, even though that, like I know it's not, it, it's crazy like how it can feel like that. And it's crazy how like, lack of sleep and like i don't know i guess they call it mom guilt but like you don't want to cry in front of your child you don't want to work in front of your child you don't but like you have you have to like you have to i have so much responsibility on my shoulders and just it's just so much when i like four years ago f almost five years ago i was so overwhelmed in my life and like trying to please everyone trying to do a million things i was such a perfectionist i was so that like i literally when i say i almost died be like yeah right you almost died. i literally almost did die like i was just so overwhelmed that all i could do was like numb everything out and i got i, I did that like so much that it like took me over and you know here i am like what an incredible life i have and i'm leading and this just goes to show that like when you get overwhelmed and like things pile up like you just you can't you just get like this you can't you can't just like snap back and everything's perfect again a long time ago when i used to get like this times a million is you have to ask for help and I don't know what it is about me that like, I just feel so bad asking people to help me. And I don't know, I just, I feel like, I just feel so unbelievably overwhelmed. and like, I can't get everything done from 6 a.m. until midnight. And I don't know I just I don't know what it is about like being a mom or like being a person running a business or like being a successful person that makes you just feel like that it, that's a power to do it all and to have it all under control because I've learned that like I've learned that in my life like that is not a power power is asking for people for help and being vulnerable and knowing how to knowing how to strip it all down and like remember what's important and i don't know i just wanted to come onto this vlog at the end because like i started this vlog off this morning being like i'm gonna show you how to get it all together when you feel like this and like the reality is i'm still the end of the day and i still can't get it all together Ugh, i'm very thankful for a lot of things and one of them is to have a husband that is so great like when I have these times like to be like it's okay and like everything's great and we're gonna knock it out and I'll help you and I don't know you know like sometimes it, sometimes it just gets like this and um sometimes you just have to tread water <laughs> this is another thing that like now I understand. So, last week I started a new diet. And it was, it's a great diet. I can't wait to share it. I, but, like, I started the diet. I started working out. And I started doing the sweat house. Doing a sauna. And I don't know what it was or if it was a combination of, like, the shock of the three. But my milk supply literally was, like, depleted. And I'm an overproducer times a thousand. Like I had a whole freezer of milk. And before I realized it, it was like so bad. Also, I've been dealing with the stress of that for the last like three days, trying to figure out like, what do I do? Like, can you get your milk supply back? Okay, I can take this and I can try and power pump and do all these things. But like, 
is is this even a thing? Is it gonna come back? Did I ruin it? And like, what? Why well, I was such an idiot and didn't know that I couldn't do those things. Um, so that's where I'm at with that, and I'm kind of thankful in a couple ways because I feel like it really has given me a perspective of all the moms that go through this that want to like produce milk for their children so bad and they they can't look what a stress what a stress that is for your it feels like my body's failing me so that's added a lot of stress to me and also like we have these really exciting things happening in our business but I'm also dealing with the like do I do this do I launch this like is this the right time or is this perfect and I'm like you're so far beyond that like that's how I used to be and I'm like I'm doing it again and I just um it's just hard sometimes <laughs> it's just hard my recommendation <laughs> or my um my go-to like when it gets like this and literally you've taken every tool out of the toolbox and it's you're still like this you've just got to hang on tight and you gotta prioritize and you gotta write things down and say okay what actually has to get done today what can I ask somebody if I can push off what can I ask someone to help me with gosh I don't know why and the heck that's so hard for people and just be thankful I have to be thankful I have a healthy child that I had an overabundance of milk supply for as long as I did that I have a husband that can stand beside me in these times and not be like what's wrong is it something I did is it that can literally just sit with me when I'm like this and try and help. And that we even live in a place where you can literally make a career of documenting your life and like reaching out to people and and sharing your life. Like what an incredible thing it is that that we're able to do. So I was not doing anyone justice by only showing the good stuff because I feel like this is a big part of me and a big part of what I can offer anyone that's watching and I appreciate everyone like watching and commenting and telling us that you know this inspires them or that this made them so happy like what a joy I was walking back from Target a while ago like crying and this girl drove by me and she was like Mallory Oh, I watch your vlog. I'm waiting to run into you. You're such an inspiration. I like almost started bawling, crying because I was like, "You have no idea, like how 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 much I needed to hear that today." I appreciated that, and I appreciate every single one of y'all that come up uh, whenever I see people in public. It happens every day, and what an incredible thing that is. And I just want to be able to really offer people some hope and some light. And part of that is being vulnerable and sharing times like this. Because we in the trenches together. So, thanks for listening to this. I'm signing off now. I bet you it'll be better tomorrow. Maybe it won't. Maybe you'll get a series of this content. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, 